Denver, Indiana, the site of North Miami High School. Hello, everyone. I'm Nate Roberts, and I'm joined by my co-host, Mitch Smith, as we bring to you this RTC TV4 broadcast of Typical New Valley Vikings Lady Basketball as they are on the road today at North Miami to face off in this Three River Conference matchup against the Lady Warriors. Yeah, Nate, and it's uh, going to be a really exciting game. We got some stats for you, Nate. You want to get us started with that? Most definitely. Now, um, I'm going to talk to you guys about the last game. The last game against the Lady Trojans at Triton. It was kind of a, it was a good fight, but Valley came out on top. Uh, notable performances, um, Addie Miller had the most points with 14. Then followed by Sophie Buzzard with 12, and uh, sophomore Julian Wall is making some noise out there. Also, I want to mention that they have gotten eight steals in that game. Now, that kind of stat impresses me. But when I go and look at the stat sheet here, I then notice that they average 10 steals a game, which, which is even better. So do you think... Like, do you think that uh, Tippecanoe Valley will continue this streak of uh, thievery? Well, we certainly hope. And um, I think that we are going to do our best here tonight. And um, we've gotten a couple other things coming up, don't we, Nate? Most definitely. The last event, uh, I've mentioned on Wednesday, I mentioned that on Wednesday we broadcasted the girls' basketball. Uh, yesterday, uh, the... The wrestlers at Tippy Valley faced off against Manchester where they fell short 42-27. to There were four forfeits in that fight, but of course there were victories by some Valley wrestlers, including Seth Hoffman, Joseph Irons, and Isaac Lau. Now for your upcoming, on December 14th, we have... Uh, we will announce the next games right after the anthem. And so, folks, uh, that was a beautiful rendition of the National Anthem by North Miami's school band. Now, let's bring to you guys the next event. Of on, course. On the 14th, we have Tippecanoe Valley at Winnemac. RTC will cover that for your uh, filming needs. On the 16th, the Lady Vikings will be home against Whitco, which RTC will cover. The boys will be traveling against Glenn on the 9th, which RTC will not cover. On the 12th, the boys basketball will be at home against Peru. RTC will cover. And finally, boys basketball will be at Winco, where we will not cover that. And now, 
for the starting lineup for the North Miami Lady Warriors. That was your starting lineup for the North Miami Warriors. So, all, all, all the stuff that need, that's needed to be done is over with. So what can I say? Play a ball. <laughs> yes. Um, and Nate, before we get started, I'd just like to mention that I got a couple of statements from the coaches. I was lucky enough to get an interview with both the girls and the coaches before the game had started. Um, uh, Coach Chapriti says that the energy level at practices has been getting much better, as well as the ball movements. I think those ball movements may be a key in keeping this game uh, a good game and a strong game for the Lady Bikes. We're seeing uh, some passing. Uh, right now, Hannah Hall has the ball, kicks it inside. Field goal no good by Adria Hartley. Rebounded shot no good. And that's out of bounds. Um, North Miami's Bailey came to inbounds. Passes it deep to Kaylee Bolzer. Bolzer, oh, that's a jump ball. Little bit of a tussle on the court there, huh? Most definitely. It's now Tippecanoe Valley's possession with a half a minute uh, past. P Emily Peterson to inbounds. Kicks it to Olivia Trapiti. Back to Peterson. To Buzzer. Buzzard with 12 points the night against uh, Triton. That's a kickball violation. Uh, still Valley's possession. Olivia Trapiti to inbounds. Kicks it to Sophie Buzzard. Back to Trapiti. Trapiti to Addie Miller, the leading scorer for the last game against Triton. Sophie Buzzard inside. No good. Rebounded by Hannah Hall. And that will be no good. I believe that was a charging foul. Emily Peterson to inbounds. Kicks it to Sophie Buzzer back to Peterson. Peterson driving up the court. There's a full court press by North Miami. Deep pass. Good. Addie Miller with the shot. And it's blocked. That shot was just deflected by Kaylin Bolzer. That was a pretty dirty block, if you ask me. So uh, here comes uh, uh, Sophia Buzzer. Olivia Trapiti now on the top. Kicks it to Emily Peterson. Peterson and Trapiti. Back to Peterson. He does a three, and it's good. good. Now, really quickly, Emily Peterson is also involved in the student council and KYLA. We got a traveling call there on Kaylin Bolzer. So it'll be Valley's possession. Uh, Peterson to inbounds. Sophia Buzzard kicks it to Peterson. Back to uh, Asia O'Connor. Peterson to Trapiti. To Addie Miller. To Trapiti. Inside. Buzzard. And that will be a traveling call. That is now the Warriors' possession.
We're getting some deep passes there, but uh, Adria Hartley ends up with it. Here comes, ooh. There was a shot attempt by Kaylee Bozer, but that will be a shooting foul. That is a foul on Emily Peterson. That is uh, her first. And now Kaylin Bozer will get her first attempts of the night. First one, no good. That would have put uh, North Miami on the board first. So far, Mitch, uh, a couple minutes have passed, and this has been a pretty close game. Yes, it has. So that free throw was good by Kelly Bozer, and North Miami gets on the board. For, uh, uh, excuse me, I seem to forgot the score. Sophia Buzzer to Addie Miller with that deep three. No good, hits the front rim. That one was tipped by Kalen Bolzer, and it's still Tippy Valley possession. Olivia Trapiti with the ball now. Set to inbounds. Yep. Kicks it to Addie Miller, uh, almost stolen there by Bolzer. Inside, no good, O'Connor, and that will be North Miami's possession as uh, Valley has gotten the last touch. Here comes the inbounds, Kaylee Bolzer. Kicks it to Hannah Hall. Hall driving. Deep pass to Adria Hartley, and that's good. The Adria. schools are now tied. That is uh, Hartley's first points of the night with two. Uh, Sophia Buzzer kicks it deep to Emily Peterson, and she was trying to give it to Adria O'Connor, but O'Connor failed to come back. Uh, down in enough time and that caused the ball to roll out of bounds and it's now North Miami's possession. Some fast passes. Uh, Kaylin Bozer ends up with it to Kaylee. Hannah Hall to Bailey Kame. Inside shot. Hartley and it's good. Adria Hartley, that's her second uh, field goal. She, has now four, she now has four points. Buzzer to Peterson. Deep pass, and it's swatted away by Bailey Kame. Adria Hartley now with the ball, kicks it to uh, Bolzer. Inside lay-in by Kaylin Bolzer, no good, rebounded. Here comes Addie Miller, post up, and that is... That is a jump, that was... Uh, I guess a violation on Valley. It's now North Miami's possession. Here comes Bailey Kame now coming up the court. Double teamed. Here comes Bozer inside. Asia Hartley. North Miami now seven. And Tippecanoe Valley three. Tippecanoe Valley, when it comes to taking a timeout, which speaking of, they just called one. We'll be right back straight after this. At First Federal Savings Bank, we can help you remodel your home, consolidate debt, or even provide some spending cash for you with our home equity line of credit. Our standard home equity line of credit allows borrowers to draw funds for up to 10 years and comes with no closing costs for qualified customers. Take advantage of this great opportunity. Contact one of our experienced mortgage lenders or apply online at firstfederalbanking.com. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. And so we're back after the timeout. And um, both teams are coming back. Inbounds by Peterson, and here comes Trapiti. Trapiti to Miller. To Buzzard. Trapiti, Miller, Peterson with that quick three, no good. Close fight for the ball, but Bailey Kame ends up with it. Now Kame is coming up the court with Miller on here. Kicks it to Hannah Hall, and that will be a travel violation. Peterson inbounds. Uh, here comes Olivia Trapiti. 
now. Still 7-3 to uh, Addie Miller. Miller to Trapiti inside to Buzzer. Back to Miller. Deep pass to Peterson. To Trapiti inside a Buzzer. Back to Peterson to Sophie Buzzer. And good. good. And that will be an and one. Sophie. Sophie Buzzard is also involved in peers at her local high school and volleyball in the fall season. Sophie Buzzard with that four point play. That is Tippy Valley's first free throw of the night, which is good. And now that now makes the game tie with 3.05 left to go in the first quarter. We have Bailey came now dribbling. And it's stolen by Addie Miller inside. And that's foul, and it's going to be two free throws for Miller. Addie Miller last night uh, had 14 points, which was the team's leader. Also ended up with... That was good. She also had three rebounds, one block, and one steal. We're seeing North Miami's uh, bleachers stomping their feet, but that doesn't stop Miller from making her second free throw. She now has two points for the night. And Valley is also now in the lead. So Bailey came now with possession. Kicks it inside to Adria Hartley, and that's stolen by Valley. Sophie Buzzer comes up with it, kicks it inside to Addie Miller, and that is good. That will be a timeout. And so we will be right back right after this. Protect yourself from personal attack on campus, in the home, at the mall, or wherever you are. Blue Dragon Taekwondo in Rochester is offering a self-defense boot camp so that you have the basic skills to protect yourself in an attack. Blue Dragon is the area's leading martial arts facility. Master instructor Dave Colger and his team welcome new participants and those seeking to learn basic self-defense techniques. Contact Blue Dragon Taekwondo today to learn more about this exciting self-defense boot camp. And so we are back. I'm Nate, or I'm Mitch Smith, and he's Nate Roberts. <laughs> and after that timeout, uh, we got 2:24 left to go. Uh, Tippy Valley leading 11 to seven, and that's stolen by Olivia Trapiti. Trapiti coming up the court, no fast breaks there. Addie Miller kisses it to Emily Peterson. Peterson with that deep three in and out, but it's rebounded by Olivia Trapiti. Kicks it to Buzzard, to Peterson. I mean, excuse me, now to Peterson. To Addie Miller, to Peterson. Kicks it to Buzzard. Speaking of that rebound, Nate, I know one of their team goals today was to be for everyone that is on the court today to get a rebound. That was a, co a goal made up by the coaches and by the girls themselves. That is Valley's possession after that fight. And so with 143 left, it's still 11-7. That was tipped, but here comes Addie Miller. Kicks it to Buzzard, to Trapiti, to Buzzard. Buzzard with 12 points last game against Triton. To Peterson. Peterson with that pull up, no good. Here comes Hartley. Hartley is coming up the court, and that will be a shooting foul. That is a foul on, that's a foul on Olivia Trapiti. That's her first foul, and that's North Miami's second. 
Uh, yeah. Tippy Valley second, excuse me. Um, that first free throw is good by Adria Hartley. Yes, that defense is getting rough. As a fa matter of fact, one of their defense goals this year from the co coaches was to have no turnovers whatsoever, as well as very little, if no fouls. That was rebounded. Oh, it's stolen by Addy Miller inside, and that was a traveling call. That will be a traveling call on Natty Miller, and it's now North Miami's possession. Here comes Bailey Kame now. Bailey Kime. Close defense. That's Hartley. And that will be a jump ball. And Valley's, uh, excuse me, the Warriors' possession. Time to inbounds. That was tipped away by Sophie Buzzard and it's still North Miami's possession. Here comes Hartley now. Kicks it inside, shot attempt uh, by Kayla Kerning, no good, and that will be a foul. And it will be Valley's possession. Here comes Olivia Trapiti. Emily Peterson. To Peterson now. To Trapiti. To Peterson. To Buzzard. To Peterson, we got Miller, Peterson, to Trapiti, back to Peterson, to Miller, inside to O'Connor, Addie Miller with that three in and out, and that makes it the end of the first quarter. The score is Tippecanoe New Valley 11, North Miami 9. We'll be right back after this. Hey everybody, I got exciting news. Country Lanes has a new state-of-the-art scoring system. Come out, let your kids be mesmerized by the animated backgrounds. Take a safari trip to Jungle Jive or an outer space adventure in Cosmic Crush. Themes like the Kecklers or High Seas will entertain your little ones for hours. Choose extreme sports or click on Ninja Strike for martial arts. This high-spirited atmosphere is way cheaper than Cedar Point. Come out and visit Country Lanes for all your bowling fun. Over the past few years, RTC TV4 has produced over 1,800 local videos about you, your family, your friends, your neighbors. Now all of these videos are available at the click of a mouse on our website, rtc4.com. Log on today to see all of our great coverage of sporting events, school programs, public meetings, and more. RTC TV4 and rtc4.com. See for yourself. And we are currently back in Denver, Indiana. I'm Nate Roberts. I'm Mitch Smith. And you're watching RTC 4's broadcast of Tippecanoe New Valley Lady Vikings basketball. Yes, it's been a really exciting game so far. North Miami is a uh, behind Tippy Valley with nine and Tippy Valley with a score of 11. And so uh, each team's goal is to try to at least have a lead before entering halftime, and that will be a turnover on North Miami. Well, that's um, actually quite unfortunate, but um, one of their uh, goals this year, I know that the coach wanted less than 10 turnovers in a game, um, both coaches, but the girls themselves had decided, decided that they wanted no turnovers in a game. And I know that they're working towards that goal little by little. Um, can you get us the stats on those turnovers, Nate? We're getting some fast-paced action, so I sure can. The last game against uh, Triton, they've managed to have nine turnovers. And the shot attempts are no good by Sophie Buzzard, but North Miami ends up with it. 
Oh, the ball almost lost right there by Hannah Hall. And it's stolen by Sophie Buzzard. Buzzard is coming in. Buzzard, it's good. Tippecanoe Valley now at 13, North Miami at 9. That is Sophie Buzzard's uh, first two-point attempt, and that will be a foul. We got a, a pushing call. That's a foul on Addie Miller. That's her first, and that's Valley's third. Some substitutions here. We're seeing uh, Julian Walls and Mackenzie Wilcox on the court for the first time tonight. Didn't she also score at the last game, Julian Walls? She was third in the scoring for that game for Valley side with nine points, and she also ended up shooting three for seven total. And she also ended up with two steals. Wow. She is going to be a future asset to this team and only a sophomore as well. Uh, there is a foul there. Adria Hartley makes uh, her third and she makes her fourth. That foul was on uh, Emily Peterson, that's her second, Valley's fourth. Chapiti coming up the court, kicks it to Jillian Walls. To Addie Miller. Miller to Chapiti. Kicks it to Walls. To Miller. To Buzzard. There's Chapiti now. Kicks it to Buzzard. To Jillian Walls. Miller to Walls. We're getting a lot of passing here from Valley. Want to make sure they get the best shot possible. Great coaching there. Miller to Petey. Walls to Miller. Buzzard almost loses the ball there. We're getting a bit of double team. Deep pass. Jillian Walls now has it to Addie Miller. Miller to Sophie Buzzard. Buzzard driving along. Lay in, no good. Rebounded by Kaylin Bolzer. And that was, ooh. That looked like um, one of North Miami's players tried to get the ball out on Valley and just took that ball, swat at it, and it hit Valley there, but uh, it's still North Miami's possession, and it Still North Miami's possession right after that play. Time falls, but uh, Bolzer ends up with it. Adria, Adria Hartley tries to go for that what looks like a lay-in, but it was too high up for her to catch it, and it's now Tippy Valley's possession. Here comes uh, Trapiti, kicking it to Walls, to Miller now, to Petey, to Buzzard. Uh, yeah, Buzzard. Walls, pump fake. Close defense there, Miller. Sophie Buzzard with that high range shot, no good. good. Rebounded mm. by Adria Hartley now. Coming up the court, crosses over Addy Miller, and that's a foul. That's a foul on Olivia Trapiti. That's her second foul, Tippy Valley's fifth. And North Miami ends up with that loose ball. And there is Bailey Kime with that field goal. Valley now tied with North Miami. That's Bailey Kime's first basket of the night. Julian inside. Julian Wallace with that three, no good. And it's North Miami's possession. Fourth. That's a foul on Addie Miller. That's uh, her second. That's Tippy Valley's sixth. Right now, Tippy Tippecanoe Valley is in a bad spot. 
they have a total of 16 fouls so far, and two of their players are already uh, in that two foul range. So hopefully they are a little more cautious. Oh, and speaking of, Julian Wallace with that steal inside lane, good. good. Valley now ahead by 15, and North Miami at 13. Kaylin Bolzer kicks it. Shot no good, but Hartley ends up with it. Hartley with that hook shot, no good, and it's rebounded by Mackenzie Woodcock, swatted away by Adrian Hartley. Kept inside by Woodcock, and that is a foul. We see the fist in the air instead of the open hand. That is a foul on Julian Walls, and Tippecanoe New Valley is now in the bonus. And it looks like Hannah Hall will shoot two. Yes, these girls are fighting very hard to be uh, on top before halftime. That's uh, good for Hannah Hall. That's her first basket. Here she goes, getting ready for the second one. And it's good. Two points, and that makes this game tied. Here comes Sophie Buzzard now. Kicks it to Walls. We're seeing now uh, Peterson with the ball. Kicks it to Jillian Walls. It's Emily Peterson inside to Woodcox. Woodcox with that inside lane, no good. Rolls around the rim and is rebounded by Kaylee Bolzer. Bolzer coming up the court. Pump fake there. And that is a foul. That's a foul on Julian Walls. That's her second. That's Valley 8. Here comes uh, Emily Peterson now. Jillian Walls kicks it to Peterson. Back to Walls, who now has two fouls. Inside to Adria O'Connor. Tries a shot there, no good. Rebounded by uh, Adria Hartley. Hartley is now coming up the court. Kicks it to Hannah Hall. Gets a screen from Hartley, and Hall gets an easy way to the rim, and it's no good. Rebounded, no good. And that will be a foul on North Mi on uh, one of North Miami's own. And that makes it Valley Ball with 2.45 left to go in the half. Emily Peterson is coming up the court, kicks it to Sophie Buzzard, to Woodcox, Walls, to Buzzard. Buzzard, Walls, Peterson with that three, no good. We have Hannah Hall now. Kicks it to Hartley. Hartley, deep shot. No, no good. good. Sh rebounded. Nope. Kime with that shot attempt. No good. We got Peterson now. Peterson with the pull up. And, and it's, it's good. good. <laughs> Valley at 17. North Miami at 15. Valley with the lead, but it's only by two. So we have Bailey Kime now. Kicks it to Hall. To Hartley. Inside, and that rolls out of bounds, and it will be Valley's ball. We're seeing uh, a substitution for Valley. Uh, Olivia Trapiti will be subbed in for Emily Peterson. Uh, Peterson currently has two fouls, just like three of her teammates. Kicks it to Walls. Here's Buzzard. And it looks like uh, Valley will keep possession after that. Kicks it to Buzzer. To Trapiti. Inside shot, good. That is Trapiti's first points of the night. Yes, she's 
You know, she's not only good at basketball, Nate, she's also involved in NHS, student council, and goes on yearly missions trips with her family. Kaylee Bolzer with that uh, two-pointer. Uh, one twelve left to go, and Olivia Trapiti is coming up the court with the ball, kicks it to Walls, to Buzzard. Asia O'Connor uh, with that uh, attempted shot, and that will be a foul on, I believe, Marianne Freeman. No good. Good. Valley at 20 points now. Two, North Miami at 17. Two good by Asia O'Connor. And that shot is good by Marianne Freeman. 43 seconds left to go in the half. Olivia Trapiti now coming up the court. To kicks it to Julian Walsh, to Sophie Buzzard. Buzzer is dribbling it to waste time. Kicks it to Walls. Just holds on to the ball, not making any moves. To Buzzer. 22 seconds left in the half. Kicks it to Julian Walls. Walls is dribbling. Under 10 let seconds to go. Aliyah Trapini with that three, no good, rebounded by Kaylee Colzer. And that shot's no good, and that makes it halftime, folks. We will be right back. The score oh, currently is Tippecanoe Valley 20, North Miami 19. Are you in pain from an injury or arthritis? What if there was a place that could meet all of your orthopedic needs? A place with some of the best orthopedic doctors and staff in the Midwest. A place where you're treated as a person instead of a patient. What if that place weren't in Chicago or Indianapolis? There is such a place. Rochester Orthopedics, your regional orthopedic specialist. When you're looking for comfort and relief, remember, trust the board-certified and fellowship-trained surgeons at Rochester Orthopedics. Townhome Furnishings in Rochester is the place to shop for all of your furniture needs. Sofas, recliners, love seats, dining sets, bedroom sets, mattresses, outdoor furniture, and more. All in your hometown. Stop out and see Don, Mary Kay, Linda, or Joe. They want to help you find the exact pieces to fit your needs. Shop online at townhomefurnishings.com. At First Federal Savings Bank, we know that buying your first home can be an overwhelming process. The mortgage experts at First Federal Savings Bank will work with you from application to closing. At First Federal Savings Bank, we pay standard closing costs for our first time home buyers. We offer free pre-approvals and local loan servicing throughout the life of your loan. Stop in and talk with one of our mortgage lenders and take the worry out of buying your first home. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Slow download, constant buffering, Wi-Fi dead zone? Let RTC help. The customer support team at RTC Communications is here to help you with your internet connectivity. Hi, I'm Bonnie, one of the support team members here at RTC. For a small fee, RTC offers a Wi-Fi health check where we will evaluate your in-home Wi-Fi network and assist you with common issues. See what RTC can do for you. Give us a call today. I am for the child. I'm for the child that has been abused or neglected. I'm for the child that has been moved from foster home to foster home. I'm for the child born addicted to drugs. You can't control where abused and neglected children come from, but you can help with where they end up. Lift up a child's voice, a child's life. Volunteer to be an advocate for a child in need of a voice. Call Casa of Fulton County to learn more. At First Federal Savings Bank, we can help you remodel your home, consolidate debt, or even provide some spending cash for you with our home equity line of credit. Our standard home equity line of credit 
allows borrowers to draw funds for up to 10 years and comes with no closing costs for qualified customers. Take advantage of this great opportunity. Contact one of our experienced mortgage lenders or apply online at firstfederalbanking.com. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Protect yourself from personal attack on campus, in the home, at the mall, or wherever you are. Blue Dragon Taekwondo in Rochester is offering a self-defense boot camp so that you have the basic skills to protect yourself in an attack. Blue Dragon is the area's leading martial arts facility. Master instructor Dave Colger and his team welcome new participants and those seeking to learn the basic self-defense techniques. Contact Blue Dragon Taekwondo today to learn more about this exciting self-defense boot camp. Hey everybody, I got exciting news. Country Lanes has a new state-of-the-art scoring system. Come out, let your kids be mesmerized by the animated backgrounds. Take a safari trip to Jungle Jive or an outer space adventure in Cosmic Crush. Themes like the Kecklers or High Seas will entertain your little ones for hours. Choose extreme sports or click on Ninja Strike for martial arts. This high-spirited atmosphere is way cheaper than Cedar Point. Come out and visit Country Lanes for all your bowling fun. Over the past few years, RTC TV4 has produced over 1,800 local videos about you, your family, your friends, your neighbors. Now all of these videos are available at the click of a mouse on our website, rtc4.com. Log on today to see all of our great coverage of sporting events, school programs, public meetings, and more. RTC TV4 and rtc4.com. See for yourself. Are you in pain from an injury or arthritis? What if there was a place that could meet all of your orthopedic needs? A place with some of the best orthopedic doctors and staff in the Midwest. A place where you're treated as a person instead of a patient. What if that place weren't in Chicago or Indianapolis? There is such a place. Rochester Orthopedics, your regional orthopedic specialist. When you're looking for comfort and relief, remember, trust the board certified and fellowship trained surgeons at Rochester Orthopedics. Townhome Furnishings in Rochester is the place to shop for all of your furniture needs. Sofas, recliners, love seats, dining sets, bedroom sets, mattresses, outdoor furniture, and more. All in your hometown. Stop out and see Don, Mary Kay, Linda, or Joe. They want to help you find the exact pieces to fit your needs. Shop online at townhomefurnishings.com. At First Federal Savings Bank, we know that buying your first home can be an overwhelming process. The mortgage experts at First Federal Savings Bank will work with you from application to closing. At First Federal Savings Bank, we pay standard closing costs for our first time home buyers. We offer free pre-approvals and local loan servicing throughout the life of your loan. Stop in and talk with one of our mortgage lenders and take the worry out of buying your first home. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Slow download, constant buffering, Wi-Fi dead zone? Let RTC help. The customer support team at RTC Communications is here to help you with your internet connectivity. Hi, I'm Bonnie, one of the support team members here at RTC. For a small fee, RTC offers a Wi-Fi health check where we will evaluate your in-home Wi-Fi network and assist you with common issues. See what RTC can do for you. Give us a call today. I am for the child. I'm for the child that has been abused or neglected. I'm for the child that has been moved from foster home to foster home. I'm for the child born addicted to drugs. You can't control where abused and neglected children come from, but you can help with where they end up. Lift up a child's voice, a child's life. Volunteer to be an advocate for a child in need of a voice. Call Casa of Fulton County to learn more. At First Federal Savings Bank, we can help you remodel your home, consolidate debt, or even provide some spending cash for you with our home equity line of credit. Our standard home equity line of credit allows borrowers to draw funds for up to 10 years and comes with no closing costs for qualified customers. Take advantage of this great opportunity. Contact one of our experienced mortgage lenders or apply online at firstfederalbanking.com. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank.
Hey. Hello everyone and welcome back to the RTC4 broadcast. I'm Nate Roberts. I'm Mitch Smith. And we are here in Denver, Indiana where the Lady Vikings are going to return from halftime to face off against the Lady Warriors. So, based on what you've seen in the first half, which, which we saw four Viking players ha get two fouls, and some of them don't even get a foul until the third quarter. Now tell me, Mitch, how do you think the Vikings, the Lady Vikings, should approach this issue? I think that these girls should be very cautious and think of their m next moves very wisely. Um, All the guys say is, watch out, Lady Vikings. Yes. We do have a statement come in from Coach Kindig. He says, we have improved in many ways. Defense is key and offense is go offense offensive passing has been improving. He's talking about practices and um, I can tell that their defense is truly is key, although it seems to be getting them into some trouble today. And so we saw uh, North Miami turn the ball over and it will be Tippy Valley's possession. Here comes uh, Olivia Trapiti. Uh, she's, uh, she's currently sitting at two points and two fouls. Here comes Addie Miller. Kicks it to Peterson, to Buzzard. Miller, Trapiti, Peterson. Deep pass to Miller. Miller kicks it inside and it's stolen by Adria Hartley. Here comes uh, Kaylee Bolzer. Almost stolen there. Kaim ends up with it. Here comes Bolzer. And it hits a foot. And now Olivia Trapiti is coming up with it. Here comes Addie Miller. No good. Rebounded. The ball is tipped and Adria O'Connor ends up with it. Here comes Sophie Buzzard. Kicks it to Addie Miller. Kicks it to Trapiti. Here comes Peterson. She tries that shot and it's good. good. Valley 22 and North Miami 19. That's now seven points for Emily Peterson. Here comes uh, Hartley, who's been an impact player for North Miami, and she misses that shot. Here comes uh, Chapiti now, kicking it to Sophie Buzzer with that corner shot. Good. Good. And now Valley is at 25, North Miami at 19. A timeout is called and we'll be right back after this. At First Federal Savings Bank, we can help you remodel your home, consolidate debt, or even provide some spending cash for you with our home equity line of credit. Our standard home equity line of credit allows borrowers to draw funds for up to 10 years and comes with no closing costs for qualified customers. Take advantage of this great opportunity. Contact one of our experienced mortgage lenders or apply online at firstfederalbanking.com. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. And we are back after that quick timeout. We just saw uh, Sophie Buzzard make a three, and we just saw uh, North Miami call a timeout. And so the lead is still at Valley, 25-19. Time. Take it inside to Kaylin Bolzer, and that's good. North Miami at 21 and Tibby Valley at 25 right now. Pass is tipped. Take it behind. Kicks it inside to Adria Hartley and one. Certainly, the, certainly these girls won't let the W go without a fight. That's a foul on Addie Miller. Uh, Hartley now with 12 points uh, due to shoot two. And no good. no good. Rebound by Sophie Buzzer. Deep pass to Peterson. Peterson does a pull up, no good. Rebounded by Hall. That pass was tipped. And 
We're seeing a substitution here. Uh, Addy Miller goes out and Julian Walls goes in. Uh, still North Miami's possession. Here comes Kaylin, Kaylee Bolzer with that shot. No good. Swatted away by Kaylin Bolzer and that will be Valley's possession. Uh, walls to inbounds to Trapedi. Here comes Trapedi now. Uh, she's coming up the court. Kicks it to Walls. Quick passing there. Trapedi inside to O'Connor. To Walls. Peterson. Trapedi. O'Connor. And that was a jump ball. It will be Valley's possession. Goodness close. gracious, Nate. This is a close, close game. And Sophie Buzzard will look to shoot two as that will be a foul on the... Uh, foul on for second, team second. That will be a foul on... Uh, on Hannah Hall. That's her second. Buzzard made one. And Buzzard made the other. Yes. Sophie is not only good at the core, she is also involved with uh, volleyball and AAU basketball. Adria Hartley with that uh, good field goal. O'Connor takes it to Trapedi. Buzzard with that crossover. Kicks it to Walls with the pull up jumper. Good. Julian Walls with her first three of the night. She's sitting at five points. Here comes uh, Kime now. Hannah Kime coming up. Uh, excuse me, uh, Bailey Kime. Floater, no good, and it's rebounded by Asia O'Connor. Here comes uh, Walls now. Walls kicks it to Buzzard. To Walls. Peterson. Peterson to Walls. Kicks it to Trapedi. Inside pass to Buzzard, and that's good. A great job by our Lady Vikes. And the score is now 32 and 25. That is good. Good shot by Hannah Holm. Her first field goal. Peterson. Peterson Lane, that's a foul. That's a foul. That's a foul on Kime. Good. First one good by Emily Peterson. Some substitutions. Emily Peterson is great on the court, but she is also involved in student council, KYLA, volleyball, and AAU basketball. There has been a timeout called, and we'll be right back after this. Protect yourself from personal attack on campus, in the home, at the mall, or wherever you are. Blue Dragon Taekwondo in Rochester is offering a self-defense boot camp so that you have the basic skills to protect yourself in an attack. Blue Dragon is the area's leading martial arts facility. Master instructor Dave Colger and his team welcome new participants and those seeking to learn the basic self-defense techniques. Contact Blue Dragon Taekwondo today to learn more about this exciting self-defense boot camp. Hello everyone, and we are back, and you are watching RTC 4's broadcast of Tippecanoe Valley Vikings Lady Basketball. And we are sitting in the third period with 3.35 left to go, and the Lady Vikings have a pretty good advantage over the Lady Warriors, 
And that's stolen. Jillian Walls now coming up the court. Walls to Peterson to Trapedi. Inside to O'Connor to Walls. Pump fix to Peterson with that corner three. Good. That's good by Emily Peterson. That's her second three. Kaylin Bowles are good and one. That's a foul on Olivia Trapiti. That's her third. At this point, I would be cautious because she has two more fouls left until possible ejection. Here comes Ju uh, Julian Wallace now. Hartley covering her from the side. Kicks it to Peterson. Long pass to Walls. Double team. Lob to Trapiti. Inside to Buzzard. Here comes Trapiti. Inside a Buzzard. Buzzard with that turnaround fade, and it's good. North Miami now at 30. And Tippecanoe Valley Vikings at 39. Bailey Kime now coming up the court. Uh, the Lady Warriors are trailing by nine with 2.20 left to go in the third quarter. Hartley inside shot, good. good. That makes it 16 points for the sophomore, uh, excuse me, junior. Jillian Walls. Completely misses that shot, and it's still Valley's possession. People are shouting air ball. It's still Valley's possession. Here comes uh, Chapiti to inbounds. Buzzer to Chapiti. That ball was tipped and it's still Valley's possession. Five seconds under two minutes left to go here in the third quarter. And Trapiti tried to catch it up has, but it tipped and that will result in a turnover. Something that one of the coaches said that they would have liked to prevent. Yes, they did. Here comes Kime, crosses over Trapiti. Kime with that shot, and no, no good. good. And it's Valley's possession. Sophie Buzzard looks to inbounds. Valley with a seven point lead. Trapiti now coming up the court to O'Connor. The buzzard. Buzzer to Walls. To Peterson. And that pass was meant to be for O'Connor, but she failed to get to it. And it's now North Miami's possession. Here comes Hartley. Kicks it to Kime. 107 left to go. That was a screen set by Marion Freeman. It's stolen by Jillian Walls. Kicks it to Emily Peterson. 56 seconds left to go. And this is already intense. Kicks it to Trapiti. Now it's O'Connor. 45 seconds left to go. Kicks it to Peterson. Peterson's dribbling. Kicks it to Walls. The Buzzard. Buzzard dribbling. To Trapiti. 30 seconds left to go. And it's stolen by Marianne Freeman and... That's a foul on Adria O'Connor. That's her first. Freeman, no good, rebounded. Here comes Peterson now, 15 seconds left to go. Kicks it to Buzzard, Buzzard with that pull up, no good. Rebounded by Trapiti, seven seconds left. Kicks it 
to Buzzard for Peterson. Deep shot, no good. And that Will makes be it for the third quarter. That makes it the end of the third quarter, folks. We have the score set so far. Tippy Valley 39, North Miami 32. And we're going to cut to commercial break. Hey, everybody, I got exciting news. Country Lanes has a new state-of-the-art scoring system. Come out, let your kids be mesmerized by the animated backgrounds. Take a safari trip to Jungle Jive or an outer space adventure in Cosmic Crush. Themes like the Kecklers or High Seas will entertain your little ones for hours. Choose extreme sports or click on Ninja Strike for martial arts. This high-spirited atmosphere is way cheaper than Cedar Point. Come out and visit Country Lanes for all your bowling fun. Over the past few years, RTC TV4 has produced over 1,800 local videos about you, your family, your friends, your neighbors. Now all of these videos are available at the click of a mouse on our website, rtc4.com. Log on today to see all of our great coverage of sporting events, school programs, public meetings, and more. RTC TV4 and rtc4.com. See for yourself. A few moments ago, they recognized uh, a North Miami Athlete of the Week. Uh, congrats to him, and we are back here at North Miami uh, Gymnasium, and we will wa witness the last eight minutes of this game between the Lady Vikings and the Lady Warriors. Here comes uh, Kaylin Bozer, and that will be a traveling violation on uh, Kaylin Bozer. Uh, Walls to inbounds. Walls is now coming up the core. Walls is just uh, dribbling. Walls has been doing really well for us tonight, especially as a sophomore. She has uh, five points, so uh, that's over her average, so that's good. Pump fake. We're seeing uh, some good ball movement. Here comes Walls. Here comes Walls, kicks it to Miller. So far we've seen a minute of passing between the Lady Vikings. They want to get the good shot. We have Buzzer. Plays like these where you think you put a shot clock by now. Yes, of course, but it's, it is those good shots that you have to wait for. It's what makes a good team. But you would think with the shot clock, it would force good shots to come out faster. But I'm not here to start a debate, and that rolls out of bounds, and it will be North Miami's possession. We're seeing some substitutions. Hartley inbounds, kicks it to Hall. Hannah Hall sitting at four points. Uh, here comes Hartley now. And that shot's good. That shot's good by Hannah Hall. Here comes uh, Miller to Buzzard. Back to Miller. Kicks it over to Buzzard. It's back to Miller, and that pass is stolen by Hall. Deep pass, and it rolls out of bounds. That will be Tippy Valley possession, and that will be a turnover on North Miami. Add that to their resume. And we saw a timeout call, folks. We'll be right back after this. Are you in pain from an injury or arthritis? What if there was a place that could meet all of your orthopedic needs? A place with some of the best orthopedic doctors and staff in the Midwest. A place where you're treated as a person instead of a patient. What if that place weren't in Chicago or Indianapolis? There is such a place. Rochester Orthopedics, your regional orthopedic specialist. When you're looking for comfort and relief, remember, trust the board-certified and fellowship-trained surgeons at Rochester Orthopedics. Townhome Furnishings in Rochester is the place to shop for all of your furniture needs. 
Sofas, recliners, love seats, dining sets, bedroom sets, mattresses, outdoor furniture, and more. All in your hometown. Stop out and see Don, Mary Kay, Linda, or Joe. They want to help you find the exact pieces to fit your needs. Shop online at townhomefurnishings.com. With 5.51 left to go here in Denver, Indiana, it looks to be a great game as the Lady Vikings are leading the Lady Warriors 39-34 in, in the fourth quarter. I'm Renee Roberts. I'm Mitch Smith. You're watching RTC4. Here comes Julian Walls now. Walls sitting at five points. Kicks it to Miller inside to O'Connor. Sophie Buzzer with that pump fake. Inside. The buzzard, that was a pump fake. Buzzard with that pull up, and that's good. Tippecanoe Valley now at 41 with North Miami at 34. That's 17 points for buzzard. Here comes Hannah Hall. Kick it to uh, Bailey Kime. Kime crosses over walls. Kime with that long shot, and that will be an air ball. Uh, Tippecanoe Valley's possession there. Walls inbound, and she now has the ball. Hartley covering her. Hartley has been a key player for North Miami to stay in the game as she has made most of her shots, which has been inside the paint. Here comes uh, Sophie Buzzer now. Ball movement. High pass to Miller. Miller to O'Connor, and that will be a shooting foul. There will be a timeout, folks, and we'll be right, right back. At First Federal Savings Bank, we know that buying your first home can be an overwhelming process. The mortgage experts at First Federal Savings Bank will work with you from application to closing. At First Federal Savings Bank, we pay standard closing costs for our first-time home buyers. We offer free pre-approvals and local loan servicing throughout the life of your loan. Stop in and talk with one of our mortgage lenders and take the worry out of buying your first home. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Slow download, constant buffering, Wi-Fi dead zone? Let RTC help. The customer support team at RTC Communications is here to help you with your internet connectivity. Hi, I'm Bonnie, one of the support team members here at RTC. For a small fee, RTC offers a Wi-Fi health check where we will evaluate your in-home Wi-Fi network and assist you with common issues. See what RTC can do for you. Give us a call today. We're back here uh, at North Miami High School where we're uh, witnessing the final moments of this game. 440 left to go, Adria O'Connor. That one is no good. Her she will shoot another one. And the second one is no good. Rebounded by Kaylin Bolzer. Kicks it deep to Kaylee Bolzer. Bolzer. Almost lost the ball there to Julian Wallace. Here comes Kime. Kicks it to Kalen Bolzer. That will be a traveling call. So it will be Valley's possession. Julian Wallace is walking up the court. Valley is sitting at a six point lead at the moment. Here comes O'Connor. Almost loses the ball there. Some passes right then and there. And that ball is, is recovered by Buzzer, but Kaylee Bolzer ends up with it. Kicks it to Hannah Hall. Hall is driving inside. No good. Rebounded. It was rebounded by Miriam Freeman, but no good. Here comes Addie Miller. Kicks it to Sophie Buzzard. Kicks it to Walls to Miller. Yeah. 
Walls. O'Connor. Miller. Valley is just passing it around right now. Pass inside to O'Connor. To Miller. Walls. Inside to Peterson and that will be a shooting foul. That will be a foul on Kaylee, Bol uh, Kaylee Boulder. That's her third. And that will be a timeout. So we will be right back after this. I am for the child. I'm for the child that has been abused or neglected. I'm for the child that has been moved from foster home to foster home. I'm for the child born addicted to drugs. You can't control where abused and neglected children come from, but you can help with where they end up. Lift up a child's voice, a child's life. Volunteer to be an advocate for a child in need of a voice. Call CASA of Fulton County to learn more. At First Federal Savings Bank, we can help you remodel your home, consolidate debt, or even provide some spending cash for you with our home equity line of credit. Our standard home equity line of credit allows borrowers to draw funds for up to 10 years and comes with no closing costs for qualified customers. Take advantage of this great opportunity. Contact one of our experienced mortgage lenders or apply online at firstfederalbanking.com. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. We are back here uh, in Denver, not Colorado, Indiana. And uh, we are here at North Miami High School where with 318s left in the fourth quarter, we're witnessing the Lady Vikings. Uh, Emily Peterson makes the first free throw. We are witnessing the Lady Vikings uh, beating the Lady Warriors. Peterson second one up, no good. Here comes Hall. Time almost loses the ball there, but it's stolen by Addie Miller. Addie Miller is now coming up the court, kicks it to Trapedi, who is in now for Walls. We got Miller, O'Connor, Peterson, no good, rebounded by O'Connor. No good, rebounded by O'Connor again, and that will be a foul. That's a foul on Bailey Kime. That's her second, and that will be North Miami's fifth. O'Connor misses her first. Yes. Asia O'Connor is not only involved in basketball, but she is also in National Honor Society, and she very lovingly cares for her family. We're see, um, we just saw two attempts to save the ball, but it's buzzard hit uh, Trapedi, hit uh, a fellow teammate on the back, and the ball uh, bounds, and it will be North Miami's possession. Here comes Hannah Hall, kids inside to Freeman. Freeman, it's good. Here comes Trapedi now with 2.27 left to go in the game. We got Kime closely defending her. Addie Miller now coming up the spins around, kicks it to Buzzard. Buzzard to Peterson. Peterson almost loses the ball there, and she does. Here comes Hannah Hall. And we got a timeout call. And so we'll be right back after this. Protect yourself from personal attack on campus, in the home, at the mall, or wherever you are. Blue Dragon Taekwondo in Rochester is offering a self-defense boot camp so that you have the basic skills to protect yourself in an attack. Blue Dragon is the area's leading martial arts facility. Master instructor Dave Colger and his team welcome new participants and those seeking to learn the basic self-defense techniques. Contact Blue Dragon Taekwondo today to learn more about this exciting self-defense boot camp. Hey everybody, I got exciting news. 
Country Lanes has a new state-of-the-art scoring system. Come out, let your kids be mesmerized by the animated backgrounds. Take a safari trip to Jungle Jive or an outer space adventure in Cosmic Crush. Themes like the Kecklers or High Seas will entertain your little ones for hours. Choose extreme sports or click on Ninja Strike for martial arts. This high-spirited atmosphere is way cheaper than Cedar Point. Come out and visit Country Lanes for all your bowling fun. We are back with 156 left to go. Tippecanoe New Valley is having a slight advantage over the Lady Warriors, 43-38, in this uh, Three Rivers Conference action. Emily Peterson set to inbounds. Kicks it to Miller, back to Peterson. Huge pass to Buzzard. And that is a foul. One minute, 50 seconds left to go in the first quarter, or the fourth quarter. <laughs> My mistake. That's a foul on Hannah Hull. That's her third. First one good by Sophie Buzzard. Buzzard. Second one good. Here comes uh, Bailey Keim. And no good. No good. Uh, third attempt, and that will be a foul. That's a foul on Emily Peterson. That is uh, her. That's her third. And <laughs> here comes Buzzer now. Here comes Trapiti. Trapiti to Peterson. Six point game. Miller to Buzzard. Trapiti to Peterson. Here comes uh, Trapiti, kicks it to Buzzard. And now it's under a minute left to go. That will be a foul. That's a foul on Bailey Kime. That will be her third foul, and thus Addie Miller will shoot two. If they make both of them, then they will be officially up by eight. First one is good, good. from Addie Miller. Second one, no good. Rebounded by Marianne Freeman. Freeman is uh, coming up the court. Kicks it to Hannah Hall. Kime for three, air ball. Rebounded by Freeman, and that one's good. 41, North Miami, 46, Tippecanoe Valley. That's a foul. That's a foul on uh, Marianne Freeman. That's her second. And uh, Sophie Buzzard will shoot two. First one, good. good. Sophie Buzzard is having a spectacular performance in scoring tonight. Here comes Buzzard. Second one, good. good. North Miami, 
41, Tipkinu Valley 48. Shot no good by Keim. Rebounded by Peterson, and that will be a foul. 23 seconds left to go. That will be Northern Miami's 10th foul. And um, it looks like Peterson will shoot two. First one good. The second one, no good. Rebounded by Bailey Keim. 20 seconds left to go. Seven, uh, eight point game. Picks it inside and it's stolen. Shot up. That will be a foul. Only 15 seconds left to go. A little bit less actually. That's a foul on Adria O'Connor. That will be her second foul, and that will be Valley's fifth. That last. Adria Hartley makes her. Nope, she misses. And 11 and 3 tenths seconds left in the game. Sophie Buzzard will shoot two more free throws to add to her spectacular point total. First one good by Buzzard. Some substitutions. Uh, Halen Bolzer will be in for Hannah Hall. Here comes a second one. This good. is good. 11 and 3, 10 seconds left, and Tippecanoe Valley is leading by 10. Yes, and I just kind of want to fit a quote in here. Um, Ashley Dunnick, a girl who goes and films all the games, this is her quote for these girls, and I think it's really fitting for these last couple of seconds. They work really hard. They go after it, winning or losing, and I think that this is really shown tonight. I mean, they have proven that they can come out on top no matter how hard they fight. They just got to put in enough effort in order to become victorious. And I think that's been shown here with 11.3 seconds left to go. I think this game is all said and done. We're seeing uh, Kate Cobbler now up. That's, that will be a double dribble. Valley possession with five and four tenths seconds left. It looks like Walls will just come up the court. And that is set. The final result of this game is Tippecanoe Valley 51, North Miami 41. With my co-host Mitchell Smith, I'm Nate Robertson. You've been watching RTC for a broadcast of the Lady Vikings versus Lady Warriors. And as always, I will see you guys later. Yeah.